everyone, welcome back. Today's video is about prions. Before we get into the video, please make sure to subscribe as this helps out our channel a lot. Okay, let's get to the video. Prions are infectious agents that differ both from viruses and bacteria. They are responsible for causing a group of rare and fatal neurodegenerative diseases known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. Prions challenge our understanding of infectious agents as they lack genetic material, yet they have the ability to propagate and induce disease. Prions are composed of misfolded proteins. Specifically, they contain the prion protein. Prion proteins exist in two forms, a normal harmless form called cellular prion protein and an abnormal disease-causing form called the scrapey prion protein. The conversion of the normal protein to the abnormal form causes the key event in prion disease pathogenesis. The unique characteristic of prions lies in their ability to induce the misfolding of a normal harmless form to an infectious form. The conversion occurs when the infectious form comes into contact with the harmless form, leading to a cascade of misfolding events. The resulting infectious molecule is highly stable and resistant to degradation. Therefore, it leads to the accumulation of these proteins in the brain, forming aggregates called amyloid plaques. The prion disease can be sporadic, inherited, or acquired through exposure to contaminated tissues or ingestion of infected materials. Examples of prion diseases include the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, variants of the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, fatal familial insomnia, among many other syndromes. These diseases are characterized by progressive neurological deterioration, cognitive impairment, motor dysfunction, as well as death. The mechanism by which prion-induced neurodegeneration occurs is not fully understood. However, it is believed that the accumulation of the harmful prion in the brain leads to the disruption of normal cellular processes, neuronal loss, and formation of sponge-like holes in the brain tissue giving rise to the term spongiform encephalopathy. The exact pathway and toxic intermediates involved in prion-induced neurodegeneration are subject to ongoing research. Diagnosing prion diseases is quite challenging and there are no reliable biomarkers or routine tests available. Definitive diagnosis often requires post-mortem examination of the brain tissue to detect the presence of abnormal prion proteins. However, clinical evaluation, imaging studies, and cerebrospinal fluid analysis can provide supportive evidence for the diagnosis. And that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.